Gumboots. Oh, hi there, Gumboot kids. Let's run around. Let's run around. Oh, I can't wait. It's looking all clear up there. Oh, hi there, Gumboot Kids. I've been getting ready for story time, and I'm so excited. I can't wait for tonight's storybook in the sky. It's going to be epic. How can a storybook be in the sky? Well, that's today's nature mystery, the case of the storybook in the sky. Let's check out my field notes for three clues to help you solve the mystery. Clue number one. Sky! Such a beautiful day. The sky is very clear. Getting closer. Now for clue number two. Sun sets, it's nighttime. It's so dark. Way to go! Nighttime is the right time for clue number three. Stars! So many stars. Good work, nature detectives. You found all three clues. Now let's put them together to solve the mystery. You found all kinds of bright, twinkling stars in the night sky. So where is the storybook? Hmm, I don't see a storybook. Look harder, Gumboot Kids. I see a lion. I see a happy face. I see a hockey stick. Did you know that groups of stars form patterns and shapes in the sky called constellations? As long as mankind has walked the Earth, we have recognized constellations in the stars, like animals, creatures, and other objects. Each one of these constellations has a story. So many stories to tell. So constellations are the storybook in the sky. You got it. We did it. Case closed. Yay! <laughs> awesome. Now let's pause and have a mindful moment. The next time you're under the stars, lay down and look up at the sky. Look very closely. What do you see? Use your imagination. Try making up your own constellations. The universe is so vast, it makes you feel like anything is possible. What story will you create? We're all stars in the ocean. We're all stars in the sky. So much to explore out there. So many stories to uncover. So many nature mysteries to solve. Thanks for sharing this story with me, Gumboot Kids. Good night, Scout. We sparkle and shine. You shine and glow. You sparkle and shine. This I know. Do you know how beautiful you are? You're one of a kind, my star. You're one of a kind, my star.
Meet Daisy, she's got a way of making beautiful things. Never know what nature will teach her what inspiration will bring. DIY, DIY, Daisy, what are we making today? DIY, DIY, Daisy, I bet we'll make something. Hello, Gumbo Kids. Hi, Daisy. I went for a walk in the snow last night. The stars above me were shining so bright. This gave me a flash of inspiration. Would you like to make some stick star crafts with me, Gumbo Kids? Yay! Step one, collect some sticks. You'll need five sticks each, all about the length of your forearm. They should be as straight as possible and not too thick. Are there enough for me to have some, too? Absolutely. Okay, Gumboot Kids, step two. Lay the sticks down and arrange them into the shape of a star. Like this. That's it. I'm done. Does anyone else need help? Me, I do. I need help, please. Here you go. Perfect. Awesome, Gumboot Kids. Step three. Cut some festive colored wool, then carefully tie your stick stars together. Ooh. You'll tie a double knot at the top of each of the five corners. I like the red yarn. Could I please borrow the scissors? Yes, of course. Then, once the star is held together by the wool, you can add some ribbon, some bells, some beads, anything you'd like to decorate your star. I'm gonna add some white bows to my stick star. Go for it, have fun. And remember, there's no right or wrong way to make a nature craft. This is fun. All right, Gumboot Kids, let's see what you've made. <laughs> it's perfect for the top of our tree. I'm gonna give this to my grandma and grandpa as a gift. I love making nature crafts. Wow. You're all stars today, Gumboot Kids. I've made a few stick stars myself. I'm gonna give them away as holiday gifts. Of course, I'll be keeping one for myself. In fact, I kind of like it as a holiday necklace. Goodbye, Gumboot Kids. Goodbye, Daisy. Day oh why, day oh why, Daisy, what are we making today? Day oh why, day oh why, Daisy, I bet we'll make something.